purchasing materials for inventory and issuing materials to a job in Acumatica Construction Edition. We'll start by entering a purchase order that is submitted to the vendor. Then the goods will be received into our warehouse. Next, we'll look at how you can view the commitment from the project. Then we'll issue goods from inventory to a job and see how those costs flow to the project. Let's start at the beginning, the purchase order. There's an example purchase order already prepared. In this example, we're ordering some light fixtures for two jobs. It's very easy to enter a purchase order in Acumatica. In the header, you select your vendor. In this example, we're using Elcon Lighting. And then down below in the details area, specify the items to purchase. On this purchase order, we have some outdoor lights being purchased for job A and we have some exit signs and emergency lighting for job B. Let's take this purchase order off hold and get it sent to our vendor. To send the purchase order to the vendor, use the actions menu and select email purchase order. This step can be eliminated by using an automated process that will email purchase orders when the status changes to open. Acumatica automatically saves any emails that you send out. From the Activities button, you can review any email or other activities that are relevant to this purchase order. At this point, our purchase order is in the status of open, meaning the order has been placed, but the goods have not yet arrived. When the goods arrive, right here from the purchase order, you can use the Actions menu and select Enter PO Receipt. All the information from the purchase order is pulled onto the purchase receipt. In the warehouse, we've assigned a space or a location for these project materials. You can see the correct location filled in for each project. The receipt quantity defaults to the amount that was ordered on the purchase order. But if you received a partial order, you could simply change the quantity. Then the purchase order would remain open so you could continue to receive against it. If everything looks okay, the purchase receipt can now be released. And inventory is updated. Now that we've entered a purchase order and received the goods, let's look at how this commitment is visible on a project. On the Commitments tab, all commitments are visible and accessible. Here's the purchase order that was entered earlier. The hyperlink provides quick access to the purchase order. The commitment is also visible on the Balances tab. The Balances tab gives you visibility into the overall financial health of your project. From here, you can see that we have commitments in uh, just about $2,800 that have been entered for this job. Since the goods have been received in, there's no committed open amount. And since the goods have not yet been pulled out of inventory, there's no actual amount. So earlier we entered a purchase order and received the goods into inventory. Now let's issue materials to a project and see how it affects our project costs. Inventory issues are created from the inventory workspace. An example issue has already been set up. Let's take a look at it. It's very easy to create an inventory issue. You simply specify the item, the location you're going to pull the item out of, and the quantity to be pulled. Since the cost of these materials will be hitting our jobs, we want to make sure each line is coded to the appropriate project, subjob, and cost code. Let's take our issue off hold and release it. When you click on release, the transaction hits the general ledger, and at this point, the costs get moved over to the project. So let's go back to our project 
and take a look. On the balances tab, we can now see an actual amount that matches our original committed amount. These costs are also visible from the cost budget. If we scroll down to our row for cost code 16520, which is the cost code used on the purchase order, you can see that the actual amount now displays. Today, we reviewed how to purchase material for jobs, how to receive in goods, and how to issue materials from inventory to a job in Acumatica Construction Edition. For more information about Acumatica, please visit acumatica.com.